Hi everybody, now we are doing the same test after I have adjusted the torsion value and at the moment I have already driven some time and soon we are in the same place where I start to say the numbers. We have gone 5 kilometers already and average is 6.7 at the moment and I can soon say where, where the previous numbers I started to say so we are coming to some uphill part again 13.2 lowest let's see 6.6 .6. then again low a little bit uphill 6.1 6.2 6.3 6.1, 6.2. Okay, I think this is about the place where we started to look the numbers previously. So 6.2 on the uphill part, let's see. Fourteen liters max value, let's see the lowest. It goes to zero long time zero again little bit up here coming three point four three point six four point five point two then again up here part thirteen point one then again downhill and you need to remember that now we are driving on the dark so I have to use my drive lights 1.7 I think was the lowest I wasn't looking enough I was looking the road too much then final downhill Value and then we go to the level ground. Seven point two, five point three, and let's look what the average is. Six point six. Can you believe it? It's much lower, but of course there's still the uphill part. And let's see how it moves. It goes uphill here. Yeah, it gets higher, but 6.6. Let's see if it gets higher. 6.7. And there's the mark, 6.8. 6.8 liters, 6 minutes. 11 kilometers and I if I remember right it was 7.2 previously and I measured also other direction I will measure it also now but let's see what the idle fuel consumption is because you don't believe what it is zero point nine liters per hour so there's a difference but the difference is higher when you drive and I still think this is not the best, but the process is not fast to do. It took me five hours to adjust the torsion value and the vacuum doesn't tell what the actual torsion value in this 2.5 liter is. And of, let's see if I close again the lights and stuff, will it get even lower? So no, 0 0.9 liters is the idle fuel consumption. But it's doable to adjust the value. Uh, I, I will pro write the uh, process how to do it in the forum and you can do it and I will report if the actual fuel consumption on the road will get lower. I believe it gets will get at least half a liter lower 
probably closer to one liter. But I did notice that uh, the speeds on uphill was not able to be kept on with the cruise. It, it lowered the speed much, much, much more than what it did with the previous, previous setup. 